Wow, three things you should avoid. Now, you know what, and I've been doing this for nearly two years at districts, I've never been asked that question, so that is a good question. Three things you should avoid. I'm trying to think what I see as patterns. You should avoid being the guru of your own speech. No one likes to be taught by a know-it-all up here. I've changed my life, you should change your life, you should do what I did. We don't like that. We tend to write speeches like that because we forget to go inside ourselves and go, yes, I've changed, I've learned this, I'm good at this now, but who taught me that? And make that person, that thing or that experience the guru of your speech. It is so much easier to say if my grandmother was here, she would say, you should do this. So don't be the guru of your, of your own speech. Don't let the facts ruin a good story. Leave out details that are not advancing the message. And people who are analytical struggle with this. No, but it was in 1994 that that happened. And, then, and it's like, you know what? Let's leave out the details. Sometimes, and this is, a lot of what I teach I've learned from other world champions. So I really want to acknowledge that. So Craig Valentine, the 1999 world champion, and Darren Lacroix also says this. There is an emotional truth to a story that is more powerful than the factual truth. So sometimes it might not be an exact experience you've had, but it's a conglomeration of things that have happened, but you put it into a scene that the audience can see. They can relate to 100%. So in my world final speech, I talked about running into that friend. You know, you know the one whose life is perfect and they tell you. I never had that experience in a supermarket buying ice cream with someone. But I had plenty of time seeing girls from school and I was like, oh, I don't want to hear about how perfect their lives are. And then I created that scene to communicate that emotional truth. So don't let the facts ruin a good story. And thirdly, hmm, you've asked That's a, a good, good question. question. I'm, I'm glad, glad you kept, kept putting your hand up. up. I'm trying to think if there was a third. Don't, don't speak, speak about, about things, things you haven't lived, lived, that you haven't experienced. And really remember this at Toastmasters, and I'm seeing this a lot with the pathways that's coming up. It's asking people to do things, talk about your leadership style. And then I see people come in, they've done the research and they're sharing about leadership styles. Rather stop and go, where have I experienced a leader? Where have I seen myself as a leader? Let me tell that story. I might add some research to it, but put yourself into the story. Don't try to be an expert about something you haven't lived. And don't undervalue the value of your story. We forget that. We think, and you know, what if it isn't the sensational thing? It doesn't have to be sensational. And this is Mark Brown. I will quote them at all points. Mark Brown says, your story doesn't have to be sensational. It needs to be sincere. Okay, I believe there is someone out there who one day will win the World Championship of Public Speaking telling the story of how they learned to boil an egg. And if you can find that story and tell that, yeah, so, okay, now I've got to remember my three things not to do. Don't be the guru of your own speech. Don't ruin a good story with the facts. And don't not, not speak from your own experience. <laughs> oh, thank you, sir. <laughs>